Hi guys, in this lecture video, I will do a quick introduction to the atom with emphasis on the Dalton's atomic theory and the nuclear model of the atoms. So currently, there's 118 different types of atom, and we can also refer to them as 118 different elements that exist in our world right now. And of all of them, only 91 of them are curved naturally, and the rest of them are synthetic. And this 91 natural element right here combine together to form chemical element and chemical compound and basically make up everything around us. So we can see that according to the atomic theory, then atoms come together to form compound. And chemical compound then further come together to form protein and protein from cell and then from cell from matter just like you and me and basically make it up everything around us so we can then see that matters are composed of atom and this statement right here is known as the Dalton atomic theory and here are some additional descriptions of the Dalton's atomic theory so first, each substance, it makes up tiny individual particle called atoms. And atoms are indivisible. They cannot be created or destroyed. And all atoms of the same element are identical in every aspect. And atoms of one element are different than atoms of another element. And atoms of one element may combine with atoms of other elements usually in whole number ratio to form chemical compound. So these are the five very important statements from the Dalton's atomic theory that make sure you are able to recognize. And now, the nuclear model of the atom. So according to this nuclear model of the atom right here, it turns out that atoms are actually not the smallest unit of matter, but they consist of even smaller particles that we call the subatomic particle. And hopefully you are already familiar with these this three subatomic particles. They are the protons, the neutron, and the electron. So these are the three fundamental particles that eventually make up the atoms. And now, what does the, an atom really, really look like? We all know already that an atom is actually very, very tiny. And even with the most advanced technology that we have right now, we are not able to see a complete picture of the atom. All we see is a blur blurry spherical dot as we see right here. So these are some of the image of the atom right here that were taken using some of the most advanced technology that we have. So we don't really know what an atom actually looks like in good detail. And throughout this whole class right here, we will be discussing three models of the atom. And this three model of the atom right here are basic attempts that allow us to see what is the structure of an atom, what it looks like. So in this chapter, we will discuss the Rutherford model of an atom. And then on the next several chapter, we will discuss the Bohr model and follow by the quantum mechanical models. So these three models again are basically attempts to help us understand and learn more about the structure of the atom. Because the structure of an atom is something that we need to be able to understand in order to be able to understand the chemical reaction that an atom can undergo. So basically, where are the proton, neutron, and electron within this given atom right here? Those are the answer that we will try to the question that we'll try to answer by learning about this three model of the atom right here. So please try this example right here, uh, this problems, so you can learn more about the uh, the atomic theory.